So I was watching the Apple iPhone presentation last week and I heard this. What might appear to be a single camera is actually our new, powerful 48 megapixel fusion camera system, which works like multiple advanced cameras in one. And then I went on Apple's site and was reminded that they call the 2X mode and the new 8X mode on the Pro optical quality zoom, or sometimes just an optical focal length. And as a camera reviewer, this just made my brain hurt. So let's get this out of the way. The iPhone Air has one camera. And it's not new, by the way. It's the same main camera from the standard iPhone 16 and 17. The camera app may present you with a 2X option, but it will be using the exact same lens. It appears to be a single camera because it literally just is. You'll see this kind of marketing everywhere. Apple calls the main lens on the regular iPhone 17 two cameras in one and takes it even further with the iPhone 17 Pro, saying that its three cameras are like having eight Pro lenses in your pocket. It's not, and I'd argue that it's misleading to market these extra options as optical quality. That's an essentially meaningless phrase meant to evoke the idea of a lens that's capable of optically zooming in. But in reality, it's a crop. Your phone is punching in on the pixels in the center of the sensor, only using a quarter of its resolution and area to capture the scene. So if you're taking a picture with the 1X or 4X camera, those are created using the entire 48 megapixel sensor, while the optical quality zoom ones are taken using only 12 megapixels. Now, it's not exactly the same as the really terrible digital zoom that you used to find on old point and shoots. These phones aren't blowing these photos up to a higher resolution, and they have a bunch of processing that they do that's probably different from the processing they do for the actual optical modes. But at the end of the day, it's still a digital zoom, not an optical one. The lens isn't moving, and there's no physical 2X or 8X camera. On top of that, because of how these phone sensors are designed, the 12 megapixel modes won't necessarily have the same level of detail that you might expect from a standard 12 megapixel camera. Now, this isn't a new trick by any means. Apple has been pretending that cropping is the same as optics for a while now, but that doesn't really make it any better. People are still getting confused by it, likely in part because of the marketing Apple does around it, and articles that run with that framing without going into all the nuance. All of which is further mangled by AI to be even more incorrect. Now, speaking about that, I do want to make it clear that Apple is far from the only company doing this. Samsung and Google are just as bad, and the latest Pixel phones blur the lines even further with modes that use generative AI to enhance zoom from right within the camera app, something that is, to be clear, a step far beyond what Apple is doing with its digital crop modes. While these companies are generally careful to modify optical with quality, I'd argue that this is still misleading. I'm sure they all have some convoluted reasoning as to why they call the crop modes that, and I don't think consumers are being tricked into thinking phones have more cameras than they actually do, but I do think that this type of marketing makes people think that they're not giving anything up by pressing the button to punch in. But to put it plainly, they are. All the computational tricks in the world won't make an image taken using a quarter of the sensor the same quality as one taken with the entirety of that same sensor you are giving up something for that extra reach, no matter how hard the phone companies try to make you believe otherwise. And that's not to say that you shouldn't do it. I have an iPhone 15 Pro and I use that 2X button all the time because sometimes I just want a tighter framing and can't be bothered to crop after the fact. There's absolutely a time and place for these modes. I just want to make sure that people are properly informed about what they are rather than misled by marketing. With that said, I realistically don't expect the phone companies to stop using this kind of language, especially if they continue to make thin phones with fewer cameras. What I can hope for is that photography enthusiasts and the tech press will stop regurgitating the misleading labels and instead start educating people on how the different modes actually work. But I'd also love to know what you think about this. Do you use these modes on your phone or do you find them to be too much of a compromise? Let me know in the comments below and over on our forums. Thanks for watching.